A screen is a screen is a screen, right? Wrong. Hi, I'm Gary Legwald, online editor for Handy, and I'm here with Connie Bastier, who is senior editor at Handy Magazine. Connie's going to give us an overview of the innovative screening materials today. But first, I want to ask Connie a couple questions. Connie, uh, how can screening material help us keep our cooling costs down? Well, screening actually screens out the um, UV rays and heat from the sun to some degree. All screens will do that, but there are particular UV re uh, blocking and heat blocking screens available that will even uh, more effectively block the heat. And conversely, in the winter time, if you take the screens off of your mm -hmm. windows, yeah. you can allow more heat into your home from the sun. Now, the article that you edited had an example of uh, Robert Gould, I think is the author. Yes. He saved, he, it was t 12 degrees cooler or something like that? Yes, he, he sort of ran a screen test yeah. uh, at home where uh, he tried his windows with no screens at all on a hot, dry day, turned off the air conditioning, and um, measured the average temperature throughout the day. And on the next day, when the temperature outdoors and, and other conditions were similar to the first day, he did the same thing um, with the screening on. And this was a special UV blocking screening. And he did find that the average temperature was 12 degrees 12 cooler. 12 degrees, that's good. Just because of the screen change. All right, I've heard there are, there's invisible screening material, is that right? Yes, um, a couple of companies um, have made screen that does not block your view when you're looking out as much as uh, traditional screening does and it also opens up uh, the visibility from outside so you don't see screen when you look at your home or your porch. Um, Pella Windows and Anderson Windows both offer um, different products of those type of screens on certain windows in their series. Anderson has in their 400 series windows um, a product called True Scene mm -hmm. uh, screening which is virtually invisible. And you have to order directly from Pella and Anderson on these? Right now that's the case. You can't yeah. get them at a hardware store? Not, not that I know of, okay. no. You know uh, that invisible screening is great because the very few times I do wash my windows I like that look, but then you put on a screen and it sort of takes it away. So, yeah. uh, the other question I have before we go to the screening material is about what do you do with screening in open areas? Any ideas? Well, you can screen in an area as large as a double garage door opening um, or um, a large porch balcony op balcony opening uh, with either retractable screens or you can use a screening system. Um, I have a little piece here. Uh, this is a product called Screen Ease, and basically what you do is you install a metal frame okay. around the opening. And right then onto the wood. Right onto the, the wood. Mm -hmm. okay. And then um, the screening is stretched across there, and this gasket is clipped over the top. And then the rest of the screen is pulled and stretched in place, and, and it's framed all the way around. So you can, you can customize any size of opening for a screen. Um, this wouldn't work on a garage door, obviously. For that, you right. would want to have the retractable screen. And phantom screens, um, that's kind of their specialty. Retractable and screening. Retractable screening for large openings and for windows or, or for doors. And ODL is another company that makes a retractable screen for screen doors. And how does that work? It's, it's, like, a, it's like a roller shade, um, like you have in, on a window uh -huh. in, in your home. Mm -hmm. okay. And then the sides are fastened when it, when it comes down, it seals. Okay. Okay, Connie, you've brought us four screens. Why don't you tell us about them? All right. Well, this is the one that we're probably most familiar with. It's aluminum screening. Um, it is available in a light color like this and also in a dark color. It can be painted. It has to be electrostatically painted, but mm. custom colors can be available. The disadvantage to this is that if it's creased or bent, it holds that line. It scars um, and may not look as nice for as long of a time, but mm -hmm. um, it's readily available and quite durable. 
It's got a sharp edge, so you have to watch that, right? It, yeah, that's one thing that makes it a little more difficult to work with, and you do have to use a wire cutter okay. um, to cut it. It won't cut with a regular household scissors. Okay, what else we have here? What's this one? Okay, this is the other most um, common or most familiar product. It's fiberglass, and it's soft. It's easier to handle when you're installing or um, working with it. You can cut it with the scissors. Um, it can tear, uh, obviously, more easily than metal would, um, so you have to be a little careful that way. It does have um, a pretty good clarity to it because it's a very fine mesh, a fine thread or fine gauge. Um, and it's inexpensive and available almost anywhere that you would get screening. And why would you use this over this? Over the aluminum? Account? Because it is easier to work with. Okay. Um, it, it lasts a pretty good amount of time um, and it's easy to get a hold of. All right. And we have a real bright one here. What is this? This is copper screening. Um, it also, uh, you can also get bronze screening, which would look very similar to this at first. In time, both of them will weather um, and darken, so they aren't going to look this way forever, unfortunately. Uh -huh. But the advantage to copper or bronze is that it holds up against salt air. Yeah. So in coastal regions, it is um, more common for people to use this if they want a metal type of screen. And another uh, occasion where it would be used is in restoration of old homes because it looks authentic oh. for an older style home. Okay. And finally... It is more expensive too, by the way. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, yes. Finally, we have what? Well, this is a pet screen, it's called, and you can order this through a hardware store. Some stores would carry it, but it's a little bit more unique. Um, it's for people who have pets, um, dogs and cats that claw and paw at the door or at a window. Um, it's very durable. It's a, a polyester that's mm -hmm. coated with vinyl. Okay. Uh, the visibility through it is pretty poor though because yeah. of the heavier gauge um, mesh but it'll hold up and also if you have small children who <laughs> can't keep their hands off the door when they open their closet um, so it's a good product for that it solves problems for people and it's pretty easy to work with you can cut it with a scissor too thanks Connie for showing us the screens you're welcome as you can see, the right screen will help you ward off bugs, will give you a great view, will improve the look of your exterior, will let in a wonderful breeze, and it may help you control energy costs. So consider these options when it's time to replace your screens.